welcome to the analysis of history paper uh, for those who are new student first time observing this video uh, visit our channel saur karaya study circle on that the test series is available so the question paper is available there or uh, you can go through the description of this video in the description also we are keeping link of this uh, paper and answer key is also there so this is just discussion that uh, many students uh, may have doubt that okay the answer key is given but which is the correct answer and how it is given so maybe possible some answers are wrong also so that is for your justification we have kept so we are going to discuss this now so i am uh, discussing this question paper step by step so question number 1 i hope uh, in this discussion you must have question paper in front of you that slides are there so first question paper which of the following statement is not true about lothar now here uh, i have underlined here not true but not always it is underlined because uh, it's your responsibility to read it carefully this is only first question so i have mentioned not true that is what we have to detect a false statement so let us go step by step it is situated on the bank of river shatadru now shatadru river is called as uh, satluj in present day so you are aware that lothal is the ivc site uh, present in gujarat whereas uh, through gujarat shatadru river that what is indian state gujarat because there is one gujarat in pakistan also so uh, what are the indian state gujarat through that satluj river is not at all flowing and that's why first statement is wrong the site is presently in indian state gujarat yeah it's true just now i have explained a dock like structure is found at lothal now uh, some controversy is there regarding this uh, dock like structure because some archaeologists are saying this is a water tank whereas uh, water was stored for various purpose in that it is not a dock but now archaeologists accepted that uh, as um, sea water lines are observed there that is of salt and everything that indicate it was a dock only so this is a dock like structure that's why we have not uh, written a dock is found uh, because doubt is there always and we are going that uh, all right if you are claiming it is not dock then also all right but dock like structure so dock like structure is found at lothal answer is yes but uh, with our knowledge it is a dock only because we have uh, we got the seal over there which is depicting out a ship and that's why it must be a dock the site is considered as ivc site yeah it is ivc site now we have discussed these all four now first statement is false second is true third is true and fourth is true there is two three four are true don't go for c option okay because what is asked not true so only first is not true that is first is false answer is a which of the following statement second question which of the following statement is not true about daimabad uh, first i must clear you daimabad is ivc site uh, in maharashtra in ahmednagar district but towards the side of aurangabad district so uh, it is in ahmednagar district only so this is ivc site daimabad is considered the first statement daimabad is considered as ivc site in maharashtra so obviously as i have explained uh, first statement is true uh, keep in mind we have to mark here false statement so not true that you have to mark daimabad was excavated by sir r d banerjee no uh, because it was excavated after freedom and so r d banerjee was not there at that time so uh, daimabad was excavated by sir r d banerjee so he was not at that pre present at that site Uh, K N Dixit is the name associated with the discovery of Daimabad. So this is also carried out after the death of this uh, great archaeologist K N Dixit. So he was also not responsible for this type of checking. Uh, Daimabad is situated on the bank of river Ravi. You are aware that Ravi river is flowing through Punjab, and uh, that is also through Pakistan. And so there is no connection directly between uh, this land. Uh, because it is in maharashtra it is on bank of river pravara so uh, all three statements 2 3 4 they are false 
and therefore we have to go here option hc because it is asked that which statement is not true is or are not true and so answer is all 2 3 4 that is c which one of the, which of the following statement third question which of the following statement statements is are true about kali bangal kali bangal is site in rajasthan uh, so uh, first statement the kali bangal prehistoric site was discovered by uh, it's something difficult to pronounce because uh, i am not familiar with italian language but that luigi pio testi tori something like that uh, an italian idea uh, indologist so this statement is true now what is asked which is the true statement so first statement is true second kali bangal is ivc site uh, in rajasthan so it is also true statement just i have discussed uh, it must be an ivc site actually some uh, grammatical mistake is there kali bangal is situated on the bank of river indus so no doubt it may be in indus valley but not on bank of river indus uh, most probably it is on bank of river saraswati but now saraswati is not there and kali bangal is situated in baluchistan region so no it is in rajasthan region so only first and second statement they are true now first and second the option is b therefore we have to answer b which statement is not true about the persian empire that was defeated by alexander the great yeah uh, step empire was called as hakamani empire yeah it's true it's hakamani empire the literal meaning uh, because you are aware that in persian language many times they are pronouncing sa as ha and therefore this is sakhamani empire the friend of mind sanskrit word is there so the empire was called as hakamani empire answer is yes because greeks were not able to pronounce hakamani properly they started pronouncing achaemenid empire so first statement is true uh, because it is asked not true that is false statement so first is true they were ruling till river iravati that is airavadi nowadays it is called as airavadi river uh, in eastern side so the iravati river is flowing through brahmadesh that was called as burma now it is called as myanmar so uh, no doubt persian empire was really a great empire but what was not extended till river iravati it was extended till river sindhu that is indus at the most bias not more than that so second statement that is b is false now here only i got answer but because uh, no one two three like that options are there but still we can check out the further Persian Empire was extended in Africa. Answer is yes, because Egypt was part of Persian Empire. Part of Egypt was part of Persian Empire, and therefore it was extended in Africa. The statement is true. Asia Minor, that is called as Anatolia at that time. Today it is called as Turkey. So Asia Minor was part of Persian Empire. Answer is true. So uh, answer here is B. Or may not. That means uh, we have to find connection between three. And which is absent in fourth? That we have to say Jay Bharat, Shatta Sahasri Samhita, and Ramayan. Now here, the Jay is original name of Mahabharat, which was written by the great sage uh, Maharshi Vyas. It was composed composed of eight thousand shlok. So the name is Jay, which was extended till twenty four thousand shlok by. Vaishampayam. So the story of eight thousand shlokas extended till twenty four thousand. That means three times it was extended by Vaishampayam, and now he named this as Bharat. See, at that time also they were not claiming that this is Jay. Now they given name as Bharat. Together we can say Jay Bharat. Now C option, Shatta Sahasri Samvita. Sauti is name of disciple of Vaishampayam. So Sauti. And his disciples together live work, and his twenty-four thousand shlokas were extended to one lakh shlok. So shatta sahastra, that means hundred thousand. That is one lakh. So the name is given as shatta sahastri samvita. But this is something a huge name. People started calling it Bharat. So Mahabharat. This way, the original name of Mahabharat is shatta sahastri samvita, composed by. 
Sauti and his disciples. Whereas lastly Ramayana. So Ramayana is not in context with all these things. Ramayana is uh, written by, you are aware, the great sage Maharshi Valmiki. He is also called as the first poet, Adya Kavi. But it was much, much more prior to Mahabharata. And therefore, here I should eliminate D, that is, odd man out is D is out here because it is not part of Mahabharata, it was a prior to Mahabharata. So it is there. Now, sixth question odd man out only Adinath, Parshwanath, Charvat, Mahavir. Now, you are aware Adinath, that is called as Rushabhadev. He is the first Tirthankar of great religion of peace, that is Jainism. So, Adinath is a first Tirthankar, that is the prophet. Parshwanath is the 23rd prophet of Jainism. Charvak? Question mark. Because some people are saying Charvak is name of sage. Whereas another group is saying that it is not name of sage or something. Uh, this is name of ideology. That is called as Charvak ideology. Or uh, more commonly, it is called as Lokayata. So, uh, it is not directly connected with Jainism. Okay. Whereas D option Mahavir, you are aware, Vardhaman Mahavir, a Lachavi prince who left out his palace and become a monk, accepted the practice of Jainism to great extent and uh, he spread of Jainism to great extent, name is Vardhaman Mahavir, he is considered as 24th Tirthankar of Jainism. So, there are total 24 Tirthankar of Jainism, out of that three are mentioned here, whereas one, that Charva is uh, maybe possible name of sage, maybe possible uh, name of ideology, but not directly connected with Jainism, and therefore, odd man out, we are going to discuss C. Tripitakas are the sacred books of dash dash sex or religion. Answer is, uh, here clear cut answer that is Buddhism. Pitaka means basket. Three pitaka, three baskets. A huge literature is there. Togetherly even greater than Mahabharata. So that is three pitaka. So that is the sacred book of Buddhism. Another great peaceful religion established in India. Uh, by the great person uh, Lord Buddha. Eighth question What is the fact about Nareghat inscriptions? Uh, let me clearly clarify it. Nareghat inscriptions are in Sayyadri mountain range, uh, Maharashtra, where uh, it was old trade route between Junnar, a city, nowadays it is called as Junnar, original name may be Giranagar. So very ancient city to a port which was famous at that time that was called as Shurparaka port. Today it is called as Nala Sopara. So at that time it was called as Shurparaka port. Uh, on that trade route Nanegat is there where we have to put a coin and go further as a toll tax. At that time it was present. And the most important thing that traders were uh, having a shelter over there. The caves are constructed or rather carved out, huge caves are there with a uh, facility of water and everything. Whereas in these uh, caves, they were uh, built up by Sakwan, idols or maybe possible we can say relics of these uh, Sakwan kings were there, Sakwan emperors were there, but uh, there are certain people who don't like idols. They destroyed that all idol and only food portion is remaining. So we are not aware how these Satwan kings were looking like. Uh, but yeah, uh, it is there that certain inscriptions are there. Uh, I am just reading out the inscription, a small segment. It is depicted Satwan king, uh, Shaliwahan or Gautami Putra Satkarn is depicted here as Tri Samudra Toya Pita. Uh, sorry, the first line, Yavana Shaka Pallava Nisudana. Tri Samudra Toya Pita Vahanu. The meaning is that Yavanu, that is Greeks, Shaka, Scythian, Pallav. Now don't get confused with Pallav from South India. In North India also people were there, they were called as Pahlav or rather Parthian Greeks. But Parthian Greeks were called as Pahlav 
it is corrupted as pallava so yavanashaka pallava nisudan the destroyer of all these tri samudra toya pita vahan whose horses can drink water of three seas that means indian peninsula is considered and three seas so like that is depicted now first point nanagat inscription is in the brahmi script yeah it's true nanagat inscriptions uh, are carved out in very ancient period and they are in brahmi script nanagat inscriptions describes achievement of chatrapati shivaji maharaj no uh, they are very very ancient nanagat inscriptions are written in marathi language uh, at that time marathi language was not there or it was not that popular that people were not speaking that whereas the language sequence is like that there was a language called as maharashtri from maharashtri there was a language developed that is called as maharashtri apabhrosh from maharashtri apabhrosh ancient marathi was developed and then modern marathi is developed so here the sequence is uh, not there uh, that marathi was there at that time when these uh, inscriptions were carved out Nanagat inscriptions are present in Satpura mountain. So I explain it is in Sahyadri mountain. So all three things are wrong. Only statement one is true. As statement one is true, uh, answer should be only one. So it is B. Ninth question: Which statement is true about Satwahan? they were also called as andhras true uh, because in latter phase they went to andhra pradesh uh, because they were displaced by people called as ahiru then onwards vakataka ruled over their territory whereas they continued to rule from andhra for nearly 250 years and therefore they were referred as andhras true they faced hun attack on india successfully no uh, they faced shock attack on india successfully and to certain extent kushan that is uchi attack on india successfully but at time of hun they were not present so second statement is false their empire was extended till pacific ocean no that was chola empire so not satwahan empire they were ruling from pakliputra as their capital no their capital was pratishthan so this was their capital so only answer is a which statement is or are true regarding the shunga dynasty the hero depicted in malavika agni mitra a famous drama wrote by mahakavi kalidas is pushya mitra shunga uh, say in this statement shunga dynasty first let me clarify shunga dynasty was ruling from patliputra they came on throne after bruhadratha maurya the last ruler of maurya dynasty who was executed and ushamitra got thrown but in the uh, malavika agni mitra the hero depicted is agni mitra the son of ushamitra shunga and therefore no doubt everything is right but last word that mahakavi kalidas is ushamitra shunga no it is agni mitra shunga then statement is perfect so because first statement is wrong agni mitra shunga was founder of this dynasty as i explained dynasty was founded by pushya mitra shunga agni mitra was second ruler of this dynasty so this is also wrong uh, the shunga empire was extended till vengi in the south vengi is region between godavari and krishna river towards mount sai that is in andhra pradesh region so uh, shunga empire was not extended till andhra pradesh and therefore this statement is wrong shunga empire faced attack of milander successfully and defeated them till river indus this is true statement milander a parthian greek invaded india and he reached till ayodhya then he discussed uh, a debate was there between nagasena a buddhist monk great buddhist monk he defeated minander in the debate then minander accepted buddhism but by that time pushyamitra shunga attacked and defeated minander minander is 
uh, this uh, whatever the debate that is recorded, re recorded debate, written debate in Pali, the debate is called as, uh, the book is called as Milinda Panna. In Sanskrit, it is called as Milinda Prashna because Minander was renamed by Indians as Milinda at that time. So, here the answer is uh, only 4, that means D is the right answer. Which is true about Vima Kar Fajits. He was Kushan ruler, true. He was a Yuchi ruler. Answer, this is also true because they were called as Yuchi, Tocharians, uh, Kushan, Turushka, Second Shah, like that various names are there. So both statements are true. And therefore, answer is C. Shok era begin in the year that is 78 AD. So, whatever today uh, years are there, minus 78, you will get Shok era. The capital of Rashtrakut Empire was at Vatapipuram, Badami, Kalyani, none of these. So, Vatapipuram is Badami. Old name Vatapi Puram. Uh, a devil was there named as Vatapi who was executed in the war at time of death God asked that uh, what is your last wish he said my name should be there on this city God said alright and this is uh, named as Vatapi Puram so uh, this is Vatapi Puram but in latter phase uh, it is called as Badami then Kalyani all these three capitals or say rather two capitals they belong to Chalukya dynasty because Rashtrakut were having capital somewhere in the Solapur region exactly not known it is called as Malyakhed or Mankhet from that they were ruling so none of this is right answer whereas initial capital of Chalukya it was at Vatapipuram that is Badami but uh, Chalukya empire was defeated by Rashtrakut and ultimately they shifted towards eastern side and made their capital at Kalyani and in latter phase after defeating Rashtrakut again Chalukya started ruling they are called as uh, latter Chalukyas or Chalukya of Kalyani first European visited in India is here option is Marco Polo, Vasco di Gama, Megasthenes, none of these now uh, regarding this my entire video is there on this Savarkar I study circle you can observe detailed discussion is carried out who is the first European visited India but here answer is none of these because prior to Megasthenes Seleucus Nicator, Alexander all these people were arrived so their name again Alexander reports that in the Hindu Kush region or in the uh, upper parts of Punjab they got certain people resembling to Greeks already settled out there so maybe possible Greeks in ancient period might have entered in India, they have settled in India not as a uh, invader or warrior. Uh, maybe possible just uh, they made a colony like that today Indians are staying in various other countries. They are not invaders but they are having uh, passport uh, or say many times many Indians got citizenship of foreign nations and they are there so like that may be possible so this answer is none of these is the perfect answer here 15th question which statement statements is or are true okay now Nadegat inscriptions in Sanskrit King Rudraraman's achievements were highlighted so this is uh, again the repeated question part uh, I had discussed King Gautami Putra Satkarni or Shalivahan's uh, achievements are highlighted then it's right so first statement is false Moga or Mouse is the name of first Yavana ruler of India. No, he, he was a Shok ruler, not Yavana. By considering this, both statements are false. So answer is D. Kutlak Khwaja, uh, 16th question. Kutlak Khwaja was a Mongol rider defeated by Muhammad Tughlaq. Now here, answer is half right. Kutlak Khwaja was a Mongol invader. But he was defeated by Allahuddin Khilji and therefore first statement is false. Kutubuddin Aybak used artillery. Artillery means uh, what? Uh, cannon and cannon balls to defeat Ibrahim Lodhi. Now both were not contemporary. Okay. 
so they were not contemporary so statement is already wrong uh, in the battle of kanauj so there is no battle of kanauj which was there between kutubuddin aibak and ibrahim lodi and so both statement are false again answer is d don't worry if simultaneous two three answers we are getting same which statement or statements is are true hmm? rupi that is rupaiya was introduced by sher shah suri so according to written history the statement is right copper was used in currency by mohammed bin qasim no uh, that was by mohammed bin tughlaq so uh, both statements uh, first is true second is false so first is true second is false means option a raja jay singh was defeated by adil shah of bijapur true statement after defeating marathas or uh, force them to conclude treaty that is called as treaty of purandar mirza raja jay singh decided to defeat adil shah but adil shah and kutub shah united and it is believed that chatrapati shivaji maharaj was also helping out adil shah it is believed we don't have evidence but uh, because of that raja jay singh was defeated in that battle raja jaswant singh was defeated by dilair khan in the battle of kondhana no this statement is not uh, true uh, at kondhana raja jaswant singh by was defeated by maratha army only so uh, first is true second is false that is option a that is true 18th uh, sorry uh, 18th is finish 19th guru gobind singh was responsible for khalsa sect in sikhism this is true statement akbar announced death punish 